Hello, welcome back to my channel, Connie here. Today I want to show you my finished pages from April. So, let's start. Oh my gosh. I want to start with this picture. And this one is from Tyson Art on Etsy. I will leave a link in the description box. It's on rainbow paper and I colored it with my Arteza pencils. I didn't try to do it a realistic because it's a fun page. So I was just having fun and it was for Easter and I think it came out really nice. This is also for the checklist from Sammy. It's this one and it's the new one for 2021. It's for a year long and I will also leave a link in the description for this one and this one's for Easter and for a call a new to you artist so it takes two boxes for me so that's nice <laughs> maybe I can do a little more light in my video I'm sorry um, so yeah that is the first thing I wanted to show you and the second thing that I want to show you is from uh, Fragile World and this was also in my TBC, my Toby Colored. And it was a buddy color and it is, was organized by Shannon Chapinais. And it is this one, the Hippo. Um, and maybe now it's too light. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it is because I'm filming during the day and the sun is coming out and getting behind the cloud and then it's coming out again so it's changing the light all the time but I'm happy that I, I can see the sun <laughs> so the hippo I did with a graphite tint and I used both the pencils and the little pen set I did polys and lumis on top um, I did the hippo, the water um, and the flowers in nature there are green plants but I wanted to have pink flowers so it's my coloring book I did the um, clouds with distress ink um, and I used a piece of paper that I draw the clouds on and cut it out that was my um, like a stencil that I used for the clouds so uh, I'm happy with it I did the birds all the same <laughs> they are all the same family and um, that's my hippo and this is also for Chemish, Samish checklist because this is uh, a safari animal and I added cloud so two checks on the list and in the same book <coughs> I'm so sorry I did the elephant I colored this one mostly with my square wood furnace and a few polys and it's all pencil the background everything no other only color pencil um yeah and i'm really happy with it and the pencils did very well on the paper so yeah i think it came out the way i had it in my head so i'm happy this is also for the list um this is a color artist beginning with a k because it's care and it's also um I don't remember i have to look it up <laughs> i'm so sorry uh, a male artist a male artist so it is um checking four things on the list and it was on my tvc so this was a good one <laughs> and then i call it in my japanese flower book i'm sorry for the glare it has a very shiny cover and we started this one in a live stream my c clamen um i started with the light first but i didn't like the colors i want them more pink so i changed to my whole binds and they did really well on the paper i used some of the light first in the leaves i didn't do a background because i think they are beautiful as they are and I, they don't need a background so i leave it like this and this is also for the checklist because it's coloring a page with flowers blooms only so yeah check <laughs> mm. 
Wild Soul. Uh, this was also in my TBC. So I did good there. And I did this one. The Caracol. I hope you say it like that. And this was a body color with Corolla. Um, I used Pompostel as a base for the face and for the animal. I went over it with Lumis, Prismas and Lightfast. Polys for the hair. And I did a background with a stencil and distressing. I did it with a kind of orangey yellow colors because I did orangey flowers in her hair. So I think it, yeah, it suited the page. So I'm, I'm happy with it. And this takes some boxes from Sammy's list as well because I did an unusual hair color. Well, I think purple is unusual. It's a female artist and it's a hardcover book. So and a body color so yeah this is a good one this takes four four boxes and my uh, tbc so that was a good one to do <laughs> my lovely japanese book with the panda on the front i think it's called coloring animal friends or something like that i'm not sure and i did this in a live stream and it is just a little page it is this nice little mouse and I love her. I think she's a her and she's a little shy. She's hiding behind the flowers and looking at the male over here. And I will call him and I will do, do the flowers, um, I think, lilac. And when they are both on, then I think about the background. I, I, I don't do it now because I want to see how he turns out and then do the background on both the same. So isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? I love her. <laughs> Oh, and I used um, brut, uh, yeah, square brut for that, I think. Yeah, square brut and the square Marco pastel pencils. Maybe I can bring him down a little more. This was also on my GBC, and it was my hashtag, uh, Apple in April. So I had to do something in this book, and I did. Um, I did this one, and I'm happy with it. I used um, Polis and Lumis, and Distress Ink for the background. It is really buckled because this part of the background was way too dark. So I sprayed it with water and uh, put a paper towel on top of it, but I, it was way too wet. So it went through even to the next page. So I and then it, it will be all right. I can color over it. And it is a little better now. So, so when it is now, I like the background and I especially like how the dress turned out. I used my chrome, a, a green and a red one to make the pattern on the dress and um, I'm not too happy with the hair but uh, I'm very happy with the rest of it so yeah my page in forest girl and then you don't believe it I call it in Joanna Bessford magical jungle um, I did this one and this is also for the checklist color with gem gel pens I, I, I don't do that <laughs> I don't do that and I have to tell you I had so much fun doing it I was surprised myself and I think it turned out really nice so it's all metallic and glitter except for the shadow that's graphite but oh my gosh look at it look at it shine can you see the shine yeah I think you can yeah so I'm really happy with this one so and other on the checklist. <laughs> I'm so silly, I know. And then I call it this one, and this from uh, Maria Labudek. And I used Prismas, Lumis, and Lightfast, and a white gel pen. And yeah, I love Magnolia, so I had to do this one. And I wanted to do 
a different background so I use the stencil and this dressing and I think it's nice I think I like it so and this one's going in the mail to Kenny so yeah love it and the last one that I did is this one and this was not supposed to be colored it's just on thin copy paper and it was in the stuff that I took with me when I went away for five days and I was bored and watching a telly and I didn't know what to do and I thought well let's try to color on this silly paper and I have to tell you I'm, I'm really happy with it how it turned out if I hold it up you can see that the color is a little better from her face than it's flat on my desk I used polys for for the fox and everything um, a white gel pen for some accents um, I did a tiny bit of palm pastel in the background and then I added a washi tape for the border so that's for a savage chest checklist at the border and when I did that it went over his ears and I didn't want it so I cut out the washi tape so that you can see the ears and it's now looking if the ears are going over the border so yeah I think that's nice and and what I like about foxes they have cat eyes did you know that they they have uh, the long uh, pupils I hope that it's the right word in English I don't know the, the, the black things in your eyes uh, everybody has round ones except the cat like animals and foxes and they have yellow eyes so yeah I love foxes happy with this one so that was it for now thank you for watching maybe till next time bye bye